What's good, party people? This is According to Woods with the Gym Crashers, and I've got Henry O.K. Corrales, right? We're still going by that, right? And uh, he fights Juan Archuleta this Saturday at the Forum. Uh, Henry, how long has Juan Archuleta been on the radar for you? Um, yeah, no, like all these guys are on the radar. If you're a 55er, you know, 45er, then you're on the radar. So, But I don't, on a personal level, I don't think of these guys... I don't individualize these guys, dude. Like, I'll fight them all. It's all good. Wow. Um, I mean, those are fighting words. And in the fight business, I mean, those words hold strong, strong effect. Now, obviously, um, the forum is a place that's pretty special to you. That, that historical knockout of Aaron Pico. Um, what are we going to see out of you this time? Because you show out, especially when the big lights are on. Yeah, I love fighting at the forum in front of family and friends. It's the shit um yeah i'm gonna show up and uh i'm in shape i'm ready to fucking fight this guy now uh i mean you've come a long way from john de la o's uh classes uh but what formative like instruction did that teach you on your path to success yeah dude john de the man he he built such a solid foundation for so many fighters dude you know and uh you know we don't always show the most most gratitude that we can towards him but you know we should and uh, that's definitely something that I need to uh, do in the future. Now obviously uh, being the move to Arizona I mean how influential has that been on your career in terms of your overall rounding out as a fighter? Yeah it's, it's been everything you know the solitude and seclusion out there in the desert has been tremendous for me and uh, you know uh, yeah it's been great you know and I, luckily I, you know I did leave home but I left with my head coach and my lady, so it's like, fuck, you know, it's, I took two of my favorite things with me, so it's been good. That's it. Now, obviously, I mean, for us on the local scene, this is a dream fight. Uh, but, I mean, on the lexicon of what's next for Henry Corrales in 2020, where do you want to see this lead to? Uh, just like the last fight, like the one before that, just another fight. You know, I'm here to fight dudes and make some money, entertain the fans, and just master my craft. And... You know, I'm a simple man, dude. I'm not that smart, so I have to keep things simple for myself. I'm just here to fucking fight. And you've got a face for TV, so there's that, yeah, too. There you go, dude. <laughs> now, um, uh, for the fans who have followed your career thus far, what would you like to say about them being with you almost since day one? Uh, I just want to thank you. You know, you guys are doing your part following my career, and I really hope I do my part in entertaining you guys. And uh, that's it. Thank you, guys. Excellent. And where can people find you on social media if they haven't already done so? Good, sir. Yeah, check me out on uh, at Henry Corrales MMA on Instagram. That's my main platform. Excellent. This has been According to Woods with Henry Corrales, and we are out.